sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Interior Alaska, Joe Cook here in the sports seat for you this evening. Hope your day has been going well. And now let's get to some sports. Your Ice Dogs had a memorable nine-game winning streak snapped in Soldotna in their last outing against the Brown Bears, dropping their last two games. But now the Ice Dogs are back in the Big Dipper for the last two regular season games, facing off with the Brown Bears again with the ERA Alaska Cup on the line. The 16-game series is tied at seven games, but the Ice Dogs are 22-6 and six at home. Add in that the Ice Dogs are still in the hunt for the West Division lead. The Wenatchee Wild are on the road for their last two games against Fresno. Only two points separate the Wild and Fairbanks, 82-80 in the division. If the Ice Dogs tie with the Wild, they will get the division title because Fairbanks owns the tie tiebreaker with more regular season wins and with host Fresno in the first round of the playoffs. If the Ice Dogs finish in second, they'll see Kenai once again in the playoffs. The Ice Dogs realize the importance of these last two games, but it's just back to the basics for the squad. Uh, keep working hard, doing the things we're doing that made us successful. Like it was a little bit of a roller coaster the last couple weeks, uh, grabbing first place and then kind of trying to hold on to it. But we don't have that pressure anymore, so hopefully that'll help. But it's been it's been fun. We've been trying to just get back to the things that got us there in the first place. So just just all over the ice, we just got to make plays, make the make the plays, whether it's getting pucks out of our zone or getting pucks into their zone. Just just little things all over the ice. Just execute everything better, and it'll it'll be good. Last week down in Kenai, we just we did not have any energy. Like we couldn't generate any sort of energy whatsoever. So uh, it's important for us this weekend, just knowing that we're going to make mistakes, but let's make sure we're making them at a you know 100% uh, you know max effort, and, and the chips will fall where they lie. But let's get back to um, dictating the pace of play by being excited to play. And staying with hockey a bit, the Nanooks are under renovations for a new locker room area in the, college, in the Carlson Center. The process is slated to take about six months and be unveiled in September. The Nanooks will be getting new locker rooms, offices, a training room, and meeting rooms as well. About $4 million has been provided by the state of Alaska as area, as area teams will also use the new facilities for practices, games, and other events. The Faceoff Club and the hockey team are trying to raise $100,000 to help with the cost of this project. If you want to chip in with the face-off club and the hockey team go to webcenter11.com sports page for more information and this weekend up on birch hill as skiing season is drawn to a close the kids can make their mark on the trail this weekend in the conoco phillips interior youth championships the age ranges for this championship event are youngsters born 1997 and after the event Starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. with the interval start at noon. There will be a 100-meter dash classic sprint. And at 2.30, a freestyle ski. On the day of the race, entry fees are $10 for one, for one race. And just 20 for two or three races, you can get a registration form at the Nordic Ski Club site. Or you can go to webson11.com for more information on this event as well. And now for the older folks who want to do their best impression of Forrest Gump, not the box of chocolates line. I'm talking the table tennis. You can sign up for the third annual Jerry Smith Alaska Heart Bat Championships. That's April 4th and 5th. Fairbanks Interior Table Tennis is putting on this event in the Patty Center. Now, Heart Bat is a little different from table tennis in a sense. Heart Bat paddles don't have the spongy layer on traditional table tennis rackets. There will be limited doubles and open doubles events along with recreational singles. A and B singles and open events. Open singles are for those serious force gumper types at the advanced level and recreational singles are for those who just love the game. The deadline to register is tomorrow at 8 p.m. Friday, proceeds of the event will go to the American Diabetes Association in honor of Jerry Smith, who passed away in 2009. For more info and links, go to webcenter11.com sports page. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. For more KTVF sports, just go to Twitter, YouTube, WebCenter11.com, and our mobile app. Stay cool, Alaska. Mike Schultz has your full weather forecast coming up next, and we'll catch you next time.